Good afternoon, everybody. It is currently, what time is it? It is almost 3 p.m. on Sunday, March 1st, 2020. And I had a small day yesterday, and I'm having another small day today. I've been involuntarily regressed now, so this is day two, because I've been kind of struggling with some stuff. And regression makes it better, and my brain is like, hey, maybe you should regress to help yourself feel better. So that is what I'm doing. I got all dressed. I did a poll on Instagram and asked you guys what onesie and dip I should wear. You guys picked this onesie and a little pause which you guys know me so well it's my favorite and right now I am waiting for my phone to charge and then I'm gonna go to the little park that's near my apartment complex it's really nice out today it's about 50 degrees which is the warmest it's been in like five months I'm really really excited about that and I just want to go and play and since I am regressed I thought it would be fun to vlog. I wasn't up for vlogging yesterday because yesterday was real hard and today is still kind of hard but I felt like vlogging might give me some kind of a distraction so that's what we're doing. I made my bed earlier and Jinxie is here asking for loves and pets and attentions. I took my meds today, I had lunch, and I am planning to have a really good teeny dinner. Chicken nuggets and fries, applesauce, maybe a Capri Sun. It's going to be super duper yummy and obviously I'll show you when I eat that. But I'm going to go to the park in a little bit, like I said. And then after, I'm probably going to come back here and hang out in the regression room. The room is definitely not done. The only part that's kind of finished is my tent area, but that's probably where we're going to be hanging out. I love my tent so much, and I have so many stuffies and good stuff in there. And I also want to show you guys some bookmarks that I made yesterday. I am going to do a video on them soon, teaching you how to make them. So hopefully you will enjoy that. I don't know when it's coming yet, but soon, hopefully. But now, I am gonna finish getting dressed, put socks and shoes on, make sure my phone's all charged up, and then it's park time. So I am walking to the park. I have Cinnamon with me. Cinnamon likes to come with me on adventures. He is currently my only comfort sprout from Little Sprout Care. Sorry about the wind, I have a feeling it's gonna be kinda of loud. Hopefully soon I'll be able to afford to donate a bunch of stuffed animals to Little Sprout Care, and I'm really excited about that. I just need the money to ship them because I already have the ones I wanna donate. But for every four or five you donate, you can get one made for yourself. So I wanna send in some of my old stuffies and have them converted into comfort sprouts. They're custom scented and weighted, and they really help with anxiety and things like that. But I really wanna get, and since I think it would be less money and it would support the shop to send animals, to send stuffies to donate, and then also send a couple f to get done for me, would be the smartest idea. We're coming up here, got the little park. It's pretty small, but that's okay. It's real nice out today. I'm having a good time. I'm gonna swing on the swings, go down the slides. It's gonna be fun. I am 
really baby <laughs> i'm also kind of cranky and fussy and i don't know why <laughs> I keep making noises and singing to myself, which I like because that means that I'm in a, uh, like, really regressed headspace. I'm just, I'm very, I'm very small. But I think what I'm going to do is do a face mask because that's something that I've been wanting to do and I haven't done it yet. And I've been wanting to for the last couple of days. So, I think I should do that. So, I'm going to do a face mask. And first, I'm going to do a clay mask. And then, I'm going to do a sheet mask. I like doing two. Because the clay mask gets all the impurities out. And then, the sheet mask rehydrates your skin. And I'm going to use my rose quartz roller on the sheet mask. So I got to decide which face mask I want to use. I think I'm going to use my avocado and an oatmeal one. Because I like that one a lot. But I'm, I'm going to do that. And while I'm doing that, I think I'm going to look on youtube and see if there's anything good to watch and then after face masks is done which both of them will probably take 40 minutes to an hour depending on how long the clay one takes to dry so once those are done because i'm kind of using it as a distraction you can skip ahead if you don't want to hear this. Um, little trigger warning. I'm going to be talking about my eating disorder for a minute. So if you don't want to see that, skip ahead a couple minutes. But basically, I have an eating disorder that usually people don't think of when you mention eating disorders. People only think of like anorexia, bulimia, or thorexia. Well, I have binge eating disorder and I've had it for a really long time like since I was a kid and it can be really hard and it I had gotten the habit of binge eating every single day and it made me feel really crummy and crummy mentally crummy physically and I am in the very beginning stages of trying to stop that habit and kind of recover from my eating disorder which is pretty difficult because I'm used to eating copious amounts of food like way way more than I need and that's really not healthy and my eating disorder is starting to affect my physical health and I, I don't want that so I really need to do something about it so I'm trying to be better about not binging and like keeping track of what I eat and how much I eat and how much I make. So for dinner, I'm going to have two servings of chicken nuggets because it's protein, so that's okay. I'm going to have a serving of french fries, applesauce, and then some ranch to go with the chicken nuggets. I'm hoping that being tiny and like using kids plates and stuff will help me kind of control my portions a little bit better and I had a bad day yesterday I ended up binging but today I haven't yet fingers crossed that I don't and I'm feeling the urges too and I'm really trying to beat that so I'm going to do the face mask in YouTube as kind of a distraction until it's dinner time. Alright, I am done talking about the ED stuff now. But that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to check and see if I got any Adri subscriptions or just other fun subscriptions of things that I want to watch. Hi Jinx. Sweet boy. I love him. But I'm gonna do that. And I'll see you in a few minutes. Face mask number one is on. It's already started to dry a little bit. My hair looks crazy because I have it back with this headband. Hi, Jinx. 
I have decided since she uploaded a new vlog, I will be watching Alicia Marie's new vlog. I love her in big space and in tiny space. I don't know why. She's just very sweet and fun and I like watching her stuff. So I'm going to have a little bit of self-care time for self-care Sunday. And I'm sure you'll see me when the next mask is on. Face mask number two is on and I look crazy. But I am preheating the oven right now for my dinner. But I won't keep you too long with this on my face because it looks insane. But it does real good things for my skin, so I enjoy it. I'm going to go over a little bit with my rose quartz roller. And then it's dinner time. Dinner is done. So I'm going to eat this and watch some YouTubes. I think I am going to end this vlog here. Thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. I just want to kind of hang out and chill for the rest of the night. Maybe have some more tiny time off camera. If you like this vlog and video and want to see even more videos all about age regression from me, you can be sure to subscribe to this channel. I try to post over here a couple of times a week. But if you'd also like to keep up with me day to day in between uploads, you can follow me over on Instagram, which is at crayons and pencils, or over on Twitter, which is at crayon kiddo. And if you're so kind and feel like you want to help support me and my content, I have a Ko-Fi linked down down in the description where you can tip me for just the price of a coffee and all of those tips really do help out. They help me pay bills and make better content and I appreciate every single one of them. I love you guys so much and I'll see you very soon. Goodbye!